Redondo has mixed legend, family history and violent bloody murder in the Basque country to chilling effect in the legacy of the bones. This is a serial killer thriller with bags of atmosphere and tension. Detective Inspector Salazar has been compared to Clarice Starling but S.H.E.S. way more real, nuanced and interesting. The cases she tackles are extraordinary but always seem grounded none of the humor of Thomas' writing but all the atmosphere. The novel steps into very dark territory from the first page. The fear ramps up as the pace gathers and shocking revelations come very close to home for Salazar. Redondo has a gift for plotting intricate storylines and creating interesting characters. Detective Inspector Amaya Salazar is a great invention, a flawed but strong female character. For me, this is a perfect summer read and it's long enough to keep you going for a few days. Dolores Redondo is a Basque writer. She burst onto the literary scene in Spain with her first Salazar novel The Invisible Guardian Translation, 2016, which has since been filmed Netflix. In it, Inspector Amaya Salazar, based in Pimplona, FBI trained, investigates the murder of a young girl in her hometown. Her first return to the Baztorn Valley in years her childhood was traumatic but she had managed to blot that out until now. The case lead to terrible family secrets coming to light and Salazar has to face down her demons to solve the mystery. In The Legacy of the Bones she is back in Pimplona where she lives with her husband, James, she is expecting a baby and is about to go on maternity leave. Salazar has one last job to do attend the trial of a child murderer and see that he is put away. It should be the end of a successful and harrowing investigation but nothing is that simple. A series of brutal murders are about to drag Salazar back to Baztorn. Secrets of the past will out and for Salazar things are going to get very personal and very dangerous again. In the chilling prologue a dark figure digs up the body of a small child barely buried a few inches deep in the Baztorn soil. The figure maims the tiny corpse in a gruesome and apparently senselessly violent act. It's brutally shocking and disturbing. In the city, Amaya is looking forward to her leave. The trial of Jason Medina is about to start. The man has confessed to raping and murdering his stepdaughter. There is one unexplained detail that bothers everyone. One of the child's arms has been severed and left in the ARRI Zahar cave. The judge adjourns proceedings. Salazar is called to the holding cells. Medina has committed suicide. A note in his pocket addressed to Salazar has only one word on it, Tartalo. In Basque mythology Tartalo is a cyclops, feeding on sheep and children, connected to Myri Beso, a rite involving the use of a child's arm in sorcery. No one can explain the reference and the case appears closes. While Salazar is on leave a woman is murdered, her husband, Quiralta, confesses but wants to tell you his story to Salazar. Months later, when Salazar is back on duty, a judge persuades her to visit Quiralta and find out where he buried his wife. The man is cooperative, they find the body but again an arm has been removed. Quiralta commits suicide but painted on the wall of the cell is one word Tartalo. The investigation is going to become very complicated. What has the legend to do with the murders? How are the murders connected? Salazar will need all her inner strength for this investigation. The legacy of the bones is as exciting as the invisible guardian and Salazar is more than capable of holding the reader's attention as she solves another terrible series of crimes. The third novel in the series, Offering to the Storm, was also published in May in paperback. Paul Bork Four Quarters The Legacy of the Bones by Dolores Redondo HarperCollins 9780008165517 PBK May 2018